I'm Louis Lopez, uh, Chief of STEM Education and Outreach uh, Office within the U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command. Part of my role is to manage the Army's STEM programs in the Army Educational Outreach Program portfolio on behalf of the Office of the Assistant Secretary of the Army in Acquisition, Logistics, and Technology. The United States Army has long recognized that a scientifically and technologically literate citizenry is our nation's best hope for a secure, rewarding, and successful future. For over 50 years, the Army has supported a wide range of education opportunities in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM, for the nation's youth, undergraduate students, as well as our valued teachers. These efforts are captured under the Army Educational Outreach Program, or AEOP. AEOP is a program under the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Acquisition, Logistics, and Technology within the Office of the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Army for Research and Technology. What is AEOP? The Army Educational Outreach Program, or AAOP, is a portfolio of STEM education and outreach opportunities for students in K through undergraduate. These opportunities are in the form of summer enrichment activities, competitions, and research apprenticeships. All of AEOP efforts are mentor-centered, leveraging our scientists and engineers that work in our world-class research facilities and laboratory, as well as leveraging the scientists and engineers that work in our academia and industry partners. AEOP's goals and objectives aims at broadening U.S. STEM literacy and ensuring that the U.S. Army, the Department of Defense, and the nation has enduring access to the best and the brightest U.S. STEM talent. AEOP aims at developing in students an in-depth understanding of STEM concepts in order to solve our nation's most complex problems today and into the future. The requirement for STEM literacy goes beyond the traditional STEM occupations of scientists, engineers, and mathematicians. The Army also has a growing need for highly qualified STEM literate technicians and skilled workers in advanced manufacturing, logistics, management, and other technologically driven fields. Success and sustainment for the Army's science and technology enterprise heavily depends on the continuous development of innovative solutions that protect the greatest asset, our soldier, and our nation against current and emerging threats. It is important to the Army to develop future talent that will continue the mission of protecting our soldier and our nation. For AEOP, if a student ends up in one of the Army's research development and engineering centers or laboratory or ends up in academia or industry, we believe this is a win-win situation as this scenario contributes to the STEM ecosystem. The U.S. Army Research Development and Engineering Command, or RDECOM, manages the Cooperative Agreement Award to a consortium of partners and oversee the technical and fiscal execution of AAOP under the cooperative agreement. In overseeing the execution of AAOP and the cooperative agreement award on behalf of DAS r and office, RDECOM coordinates with the Medical Research Material Command, the Corps of Engineers, Engineering Research and Development Centers, as well as coordinates with the Office of Naval Research and the Air Force Research Laboratory on efforts like the Junior Science and Humanities Symposium. AOP relies on its partnership with academia, industry, and not-for-profit organizations. As Mr. Singleton, Director of Basic Research at DAS r and pointed out that the Army's K-12 education success is critically dependent on a strong academic and industry partnership just as our research is critically dependent on a strong relationship with the defense industrial base. Some of the AEOP opportunities in the form of summer enrichment activities are Camp Invention uh, for K-6 students, uh, GEMS or the Gain Education in Mathematics and Science for 5th through 12th, UNITE, and RESET. Uh, RESET is a pilot program for our teachers in K-12, uh, which provides teachers a research experience at the lab working side by side with a scientist and engineer. GEMS, UNITE, and CAMP Inventions are 
tailored to engage students in hands-on modules so that they continue to be excited about math and science and pursue a more rigorous uh, coursework when they get to a later grade in uh, middle school and high school. AEOP also offers uh, competitions and there are three various uh, competitions that AEOP provides. That's the Junior Solar Sprint where students are asked to design a model car powered by a solar panel. eCyber Mission challenges students in 6th through ninth grade to identify problems in their community and come up with solutions uh, and proposing those solutions online and they are evaluated by scientists and engineers in our Army Research uh, Development Engineering Centers, laboratories as well as our uh, university partners. Uh, students in East Cyber Mission gets an opportunity to compete at the state, regional, and national level and for the recognition as well as for the awards of up to $9,000 worth of U.S. savings bonds. East Cyber Mission is one of the programs that RDECOM uh, manages centrally and hosts the national awards annually. JSHS is a research competition challenges students in 9th through 12th grade to present their basic research projects at regional competitions usually hosted at partner universities. From there, students have an opportunity to come to nationals and present their research to Navy, Air Force, and Army scientists and engineers as well as our academia partners. JSHS students compete for scholarship awards ranging from $4,000, $8,000, and $12,000. Towards the latter part of a student's high school, as well as the beginning of undergraduate years, AEOP provides them an opportunity to participate in various research apprenticeship opportunities. AEOP provides research opportunities at our Army Research Development and Engineering Centers and our laboratory, as well as at our partner universities being mentored by a faculty researcher or an Army scientist or engineer. AEOP research apprenticeships provide stipends for students and usually takes place during the summer or sometimes throughout the year. The Army is committed to ensuring maximum impact and effectiveness of AEOP efforts and annually program evaluations are conducted. This is a critical element in ensuring continued relevancy and increased participation. AEOP conducts annual program evaluations under established institutional review board to conduct educational research. Through the AEOP consortium, the program is looking at longitudinal studies on program impact coupled with lifetime connections to the program's alumni base. Who would be better at telling the AOP story than those that have participated in it? I hope this gives you more information about what RDECOM does on behalf of the Army Educational Outreach Program. For more information, please visit www.usaeop.com.